What's up, carpoolers? Corduroy Paco's Mobile Froggy Unit is back. And we are in when you actually care about sports effect. Okay, now see, I for some reason have a habit of picking losers for sports teams that I like. It's just the way it is. Like, okay, here's the thing. Way back when, when I was a little toyke, I really liked the New Jersey Devils. I was like, you know what, New Jersey Devils, I really like them. Here we go, Devils! But then, as I got a little bit older, but still quite young, I decided, you know what, I like local teams. I'm gonna go for the Toronto Maple Leafs. Go Leafs, go! That was about the time the New Jersey Devils decided to be really, really good and make it to the playoffs and win Stanley Cups and be the best team ever. And it would have been such a different viewing experience if I had liked the New Jersey Devils rather than switching over to the Toronto Maple Leafs. It's almost like I deserved it. It's like, you know what, buddy, if you're gonna switch teams, you deserve this right here. And of course, my favorite baseball team is the Toronto Blue Jays. Go Jays, go! And before last year when they made the playoffs, they hadn't made the playoffs in like over 20 years or something like that. And so also, of course, then my favorite basketball team is the Toronto Raptors, who, which until the past little while, were also super garbu. And now this year, they finally made a pass up first round, so that's pretty sweet, right? 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 No. 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 It's sweet for the team, and it's sweet being a fan of a team that's doing really well. But the thing with that is, it makes you actually care about sports. But the problem with that is, now I'm one of those guys who cares. But why do I care watching these guys do their job? It's just because I do, I want them to win. And so watching playoff anything, I can tell you, is a much different experience when you actually care about one of the teams. You're anxious watching it, you can't settle down. So watching the playoffs on TV, or especially probably being there, I can't afford that, are you kidding me? Is a much more nerve wracking, weird, anxiety driven experience, which is something I am not used to. And all of my Corduroy Paco fans would know that. See, we gotta get you guys a name. Like fans of Corduroy Paco, you guys need to have a cool name for yourselves. Like, I don't know, like Hard Pacos. But see, it goes back to the devil switching the leaf thing. In my formative years, when all my teams were losers, did that make me kind of be like, well, I'm just gonna wear black and listen to melancholy and lift and sadness. That's just all I'm gonna do, cause screw it. There's nothing good in the world. Or if my teams were always winning, would I have been like, woohoo, everything is wick ass. I think I should get a girlfriend. And then the girl that I asked would actually have said yes then. That's what I'm getting at. They never said yes, ever. Never. Never. It, it was. Regardless, carpoolers, do you know what I'm talking about? When you watch sports, can you just watch sports? Or do you get so invested in it that it affects your mood and your day? I enjoy watching the teams win, but the whole time it's just like a nerve wracking weirdo. Why did I end up like this experience? So carpoolers, I hope you dug this ride with yours truly Corduroy Paco in the mobile vlogging unit. Please like, please subscribe, check out the anti-social media, and remember to check your mirrors. Oh yeah, you're called carpoolers. <laughs>